fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Fullback Bobby is a boy of nine. He can really hit that line. He's a star because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Yes, it's a fact. Cheerios does give you real go power. You see, Cheerios is made from oats. And every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. And Cheerios is so much fun to eat with its distinctive O shape and its wonderful toasted oat flavor. So tomorrow morning and every morning, start the day right with a Cheerios breakfast. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, Victor. I am Silver. Hooray! Late one afternoon, excitement broke out suddenly in territorial prison near San Antonio, Texas. Warden, yes. there's been a jailbreak. What? Juan Montez jumped the guard and got a gun. The other prisoners rioted and one escaped. Send me that to trade him. He mustn't get away. Yes, sir. Juan and a companion who had been waiting outside the prison rode hurriedly along the trail as the alarm whistle sounded behind them. Juan was saying, So far it has worked, Dusty. Is Luis awaiting with the carriage? Yeah, about two miles up the trail, Juan. You'll have to do some fast changing, but I think you can make it. Bueno. I don't say i using the carriage to go to San Antonio, Juan. Why not just ride on with me, cover your tracks, and get to the hideout where the gang is waiting? There's something very important to attend to in town first, Dusty. Very important. Is the gang waiting at the old hideout in the foothills? Yeah. Got two new men, too. That makes ten of us all together. Fine. Fine. You'll take charge until I get there, Dusty. Now we must hurry to reach the carriage. Andre, get up there. Within a short time, the two men stopped beside a black carriage waiting on the trail. Juan, I am so glad to see you. It is good no one knows Luis of the dancers, my sister. You planned well. But time is short, Juan. I shall wait here while you get into the carriage and change into the woman's clothes I have brought with me. The driver? He is to be trusted. Oh. Old Pedro is well paid. He sees nothing, hears nothing. Do not worry, but hurry, Juan. See? Inside the coach, Juan quickly put on the black dress and draped the black shawl about his head and face. Then he leaned from the coach window, saying, I am ready, Luisa. Better change your voice if you talk to anyone, Juan. Hey, senor, I am the senora Marina, no? <laughs> that might get by. Of course. <laughs> Dusty, you continue along the trail now and cover your tracks. All right. We shall drive on right past the prison and go into San Antonio. I am sure they will not find Juan Montez now. Yeah, well, see you again soon, Juan. So long. Adios. Get up there. We are ready to drive on to San Antonio, Pedro. Si, senorita. Andale. Andale. A short 
distance from the prison, the carriage was stopped by three mounted guards. Stop that carriage, driver! Good evening, ma'am. Buenos dias, senor. What is the trouble? A dangerous prisoner escaped from the prison. Oh. He was seen riding up the trail with another robbery. Easy, boy. Steady. Mind if I look inside your carriage? Not at all, senor. <laughs> I am sure my traveling companion, Senora Marina, is not the dangerous prisoner you are hunting. <laughs> oh, I reckon not, ma'am. I am Luisa, the dancer. I shall be at the Opera House in San Antonio. I do hope you and your friends will find the time to come to see my performance. Tonight or tomorrow night? Sure, senor. I've uh, seen posters telling about you. Well, uh, we got to be going now. Goodbye. Adios, senor. Let's go, man. Come on, get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, very good one. You have fooled them. Now we shall drive into town and take rooms at the hotel. Drive on, Pedro. When they reached town, Louisa engaged a small suite at the hotel. And no one suspected that the rather stout woman dressed in black who occupied the suite with her was the escaped convict Juan Montez. The following day, Tonto returned to the Lone Ranger's camp in the nearby hills after a trip to town for supplies. Good job. Hold on, man. Any news in town, Tonto? Ah. Big outlaw leader, Juan Montez, escaped from prison yesterday. Him not get caught. That is news. He's a dangerous man. Uh, him swear to kill Judge who sent him to prison. And him swear to kill Lone Ranger. Well, I'm not worried about that. I'm sure the judge is safe enough. The sheriff will see that he's protected. Norm and all watching for Juan Montez. Him not dare go near town. Mm. Tonight I'll visit Judge Benwood and make certain he is protected. Of course, I'll use a disguise. Ah, it's not good you go there wearing masks. That's right. Well, we'll do all we can to help recapture Juan Montez. That evening, the Lone Ranger, without his mask and disguised as a rancher, rode to the judge's home. He identified himself to the judge, then said, I disguised my features and came without my mask because it would have caused suspicion. Of course. I've heard about Juan Montez's escape. The sheriff immediately sent a deputy to stand guard, though I didn't think it necessary. Montez is a dangerous man, Judge. Best to take precautions. He threatened your life, too? I know, but you're more vulnerable than I. You must watch your movements closely for a few days. I was to leave town tomorrow afternoon by stagecoach for New Broncos. That would be risky. Perhaps, but it's necessary that I be there to try a case. Then we'll try to make other arrangements for your trip. Juan Montez may have a spy in town, and you'll have to be careful. Yeah, that's true. If uh, you'll give me a note to the sheriff, Judge, I'll go to his office and discuss arrangements with him. Very well, I'll be glad to, sir. I'll write a note at once. Then you can let me know what you and the sheriff decide. Later, the Lone Ranger entered the sheriff's office and presented the note of introduction. After reading it, the sheriff looked up with interest, saying, I thunder, mister, I've heard a lot about you, and I'm mighty pleased to meet you. I realize from this note that you're using a disguise. Good thing you didn't ride to the judge's house wearing your mask. I thought of that. Judge uh, Benwood told me about his trip tomorrow. It would be very risky for him to ride the stage unless a large guard escorted it. That's right. Montez is smart. He might have someone watching here in town. I can't spare any men to escort the stage. Montez's gang is operating again and might decide to raid the town or something. We had 10 or 12 men riding in the recent holdups. Well, my friend Tuttle and I would offer to escort it, but we'd be no match for Montez and his entire gang if they attacked. It would be difficult to prevent them from gunning the judge. Yeah, that's right. Well, what's going on? Men outside are yipping and yelling at that carriage going by. Belongs to a popular showgirl, a dancer named Louisa. Oh. She appeared at the opera house last night and will be there again tonight. I see. According to the poster, she's due to appear in New Braunfels tomorrow night. (laughs) Mighty pretty girl. And she sure can dance. Does she travel alone in that carriage? No, she came here with her female companion. I saw him getting out of the hotel. The other woman is sure nothing to look at. 
big as a house and dressed in black clothes, had a black shawl over her head that partly covered her face. But it was easy to see that she was mighty hungry. Mm. Sheriff, I have an idea. Yeah? What? That dancer will be driving in her carriage to Mars, New Braunfels, with her companion. If she's willing, Judge Benwood could ride with them. Say, you got something there. I'll see her at the theater tonight and ask her to take him as a special favor. Good. Have him get into the coach before it leaves the livery stable to call for the women at the hotel. He can crouch down out of sight until the carriage is out of town. My thunder, that's a great idea, mister. Juan Martez may be smart, but he'd never think of looking for Judge Benwood in the carriage of a showgirl. <laughs> we'll get the judge safely to do Braunfels tomorrow after all. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Did you ever go shopping for groceries with your mom and pass something that looked so good you just had to ask her to get it? Mmm, like those Betty Crocker cake mixes with pictures of all the delicious cake flavors on the packages? You look at them and you want mom to bake up every one. For instance, Betty Crocker's white cake mix. Why, that bakes up into the highest, lightest, best-tasting white cake ever. A real lick-the-plate kind of cake. And all Mom has to do is add water and the whites of two fresh eggs for a perfect cake every time. Cake after cake after cake. It's guaranteed perfect by Betty Crocker of General Mills, Minneapolis. Every Betty Crocker cake mix comes out perfect. And mmm, what flavors? There's yellow cake, chocolate devil's food, honey spice or gingerbread, angel food, marble cake, and Betty Crocker's two newest, chocolate malt and peanut delight. And of course... There's Betty Crocker's popular brownie mix, too. Now to continue. Not knowing that the man who threatened Judge Benwood's life would be riding in the same carriage, the Lone Ranger suggested that the sheriff arrange for the judge to go to New Braunfels with a dancer, Louisa. The sheriff missed Louisa at the theater. Later, she and Juan sat in the parlor of the hotel suite when someone knocked at the door. Uh, wait until I go into the other room and see what he's in. I'll be listening at the door. All right, Juan, but hurry. Well, the sheriff... And why do you come to see me, senor? <laughs> Evening, senorita. <laughs> I uh, came to ask a favor. Uh, but first, I want to tell you how much I enjoyed the show. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear it, senor sheriff. Won't you step inside? And now, senor, what is the favor you see? Well, you see, Judge Benwood here in town has to go to New Braunfels tomorrow. For certain reasons, he can't ride the stage. Would you be willing to take him in your carriage? Oh, I'm sorry, senor, but that does not seem possible. You see, hey, now listen. A certain hombre is out to gun the judge. I want to get him to New Braunfels secretly, you might say. I do not like to refuse, senor sheriff, but I... Who is that? Who's that? Senora Marina, my companion. She is suffering from such a terrible cold. Pardon me for a moment, senor. Oh, sure. I heard him. Tell him you'll take the judge. But one, the judge may find out you are not a woman. I wish that I have my reasons. You sit between us and he doesn't have to hear me talk. Now go tell the sheriff you'll be glad to take the judge. The following morning, Judge Benwood sat well back in the carriage when it stopped to pick up Louisa and her companion so that he was unnoticed by others. A short time later, the Lone Ranger and Toto watched from a cottonwood grove as the carriage left town on the trail to New Braunfels. There's no carriage now, Kimasabi. Yes, we'll keep out of sight and follow it to make sure we arrive in New Braunfels safely. All right, let's go. Monsieur, <laughs> 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 
In the carriage, Louisa sat between her brother and the judge. They rode a few miles in silence. Then the judge spoke. Uh, senorita, I appreciate your kindness in allowing me to ride with you and your companion. But we are pleased to have your company, Senor George. See, si, we are most well, glad, Judge. Hey. As he spoke, Juan moved suddenly to the seat facing the judge. The outlaw held the gun menacingly. What is this? You're not a woman. You should have been more observant before this, Senor Judge. See, I remove the shawl. What? Perhaps my face is familiar to you now, eh? Juan Montez. Juan, why have you done me? Because I have sworn to kill this man. Fate has delivered him into my hands. But Juan, you must not. That will be murder. That's right, murder. And you, senorita, will be arrested as an accomplice to the murder. But I did not know, senor. He is my brother, Steve. And I have helped him escape from the prison, but... But this I did not know. Do not worry, little sister. I shall not kill him in your carriage. Tell the driver to turn at the next branch trail to the left. You will leave us at the gang's hideout, then you go on to New Braunfels. You will never know what has happened to the judge. Following at a distance so as not to attract attention, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were surprised to see the carriage turn onto the branch trail ahead. Look, Timothy, carriage takes trail to left. That go to foothills. That's strange. Then not get to New Braunfels by that trail. I know. Judge Benwood knows the way. That trail winds through the hills, Toto. By taking shortcuts, we can get ahead of the carriage and find out just what's going on. The masked man and Indian rode over the hills and before long rejoined the trail ahead of the carriage. Oh, he's a terrific fellow. The trail runs between boulders here, Toto. I'll stay on this side. You wait on the other side. Uh -huh. When the carriage comes along, we'll ride out suddenly on either side of the coach. If by chance there's nothing wrong, the judge will make excuses for us. Now, let's get that puddle. Come, come. Come, come. A short time later, the carriage came into view. The old Mexican driver didn't see the two horsemen until they suddenly rode from behind boulders on either side of the trail and swung in beside the carriage. Juan sighted the masked man. Oh, my masked man! Hold it! Oh, no. uh, now I have the gun. Very close. Oh, 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 oh. Thank heaven you came along. This is Juan Montez I have him covered. Oh, I see. Guys is the female companion of the dancer, Louisa. He is my brother, but I did not know he would do this. The girl helped him in his escape from prison, but I'm sure she didn't realize he meant to kill me. Of course, she'll be arrested for what she's done. Where were they taking you, Judge? To the gang's hideout. This trail leads to it. In that case, we go back to town. Put Juan, his sister, and the driver behind bars. And get the sheriff and the posse to ride to the hideout and capture that gang. Fine, fine. With one recaptured, there's no risk for me to take the stage for New Braunfels. I'll still have time to get to town before it leaves. That's right. I know we'll tie one on the driver, and we'll head for San Antonio. Later in town, one, Louisa, and the driver were put behind bars. Then a posse was formed, and with the sheriff, Tonto, and the Lone Ranger leading the way, started for the outlaw gang's hideout. After going some distance along the branch trail, Tonto called attention to a thin, barely discernible column of smoke rising from a hollow beyond the next hill. The sheriff called a halt. Oh, 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 oh. That faint column of smoke indicates the hideout shack like the Indian thinks. We better move careful. They're bound to have a guard watching the trail near the hideout. Right, yeah, right. Sheriff, I suggest Tonto go ahead on foot to do some scouting. Oh, that good idea. Maybe if he find guard, knock him out. Be fine if you can, Tonto. Uh -huh. Let me go. And if we clear, me give signal. Easy, scout. Easy, Tonto. Adios. Adios, Tonto. That's just not, sir. Easy, 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 Easy. For a short time, the posse waited. Then... That's Tonto signal. Let's move from here on foot and try to sneak up on them. Good idea. Let's go. In 
Inside the hideout shack, the outlaw Dusty was speaking to his pals. Warren hoped to gun Judge Bedwin in town, then come here to join us. I figured he might get the chance the first night, but I reckon he couldn't. <laughs> he sure looked funny dressed up like a female. But he'll get by all right as long as he don't do too much talking. I reckon he... Hey, I thought I just saw someone moving on a brush just outside the window. Oh, hey, hey out there it? comes and reach all of you. Hey, the sheriff... Oh, oh a masked man shot through the window. Yeah, yeah. Five men are at all the windows. Oh. You don't want to get drilled, drop your guns or reach like I said. Oh. One of is already in jail. Oh, they got one. We don't have a chance. Tell to drop our guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you men keep them covered. The rest of you come in. Pick up those guns and tie up these crooks. Hey, Sheriff. It's from empty Wells Fargo money stash back in the corner. Well, bring him as evidence. Right. This gang held up the Wells Fargo stage two weeks ago, I reckon. We'll get them to talk plenty once they're back in town. Gosh, Sheriff, this sure is something. Because of that masked man and engine, we got not only Juan Montez, but his entire gang. Never when you introduced him to the posse, you just said they were friends and could be trusted. You didn't say who that masked man is. Well, where did he go? Where's the Indian? Well, they just left to get their horses, I reckon. Huh. That means we won't see him again. Most likely going to hit the trail to hunt for more trouble. <laughs> he sure is a lawman friend. That masked man is known far and wide out here in the West as the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Oh, God. Special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.